Hello and welcome back to another fun-filled episode of Turtle Tuesday. Today we will be opening the S.H. Figuarts Raphael figure based on the cartoon series from the 1980s. Turtle power. Now taking a quick look at the packaging, you can see they've done a miraculous job of giving us something that is not only really cool looking, but also resealable. So that on moving day when you want to pack all your figs up again and don't want them to get broken, you have a place to put them. Here's what we have on the back. We have all four turtles. We have the details of how you can put a size into the back. It looks like that's an extra piece that they stick on the back. And I gotta tell you, these look miraculously like the cartoon from when I was a kid. Let's open it. Whoosh, whoosh. I release you from your cardboard prison. I like the fact that this actually comes with a protective bubble on the front that stops, you know, damage from happening to the figure. It's like a protective bubble inside of his protective bubble. So we'll just pull this off. Oh, crap. Come on, head, you get out too. There you go. That. And Raph, out you come. And this is the result of the yard sale. As you can see, everything went every which way. I literally just left everything where they were. So you got the head. This is the other head that comes with the figure. Now, it looks like you have to actually attach the little, the back of his mask bandana over his eyes right here. He comes with a throwing star. He also comes with both of his size. Man, these are really cool looking size. He also comes with a whole butt pile of different fists for holding stuff and, and whatnot. He also comes with this. It presumably goes on the back of his belt for putting a size in. Now taking a close look at the figure here, we can see that it looks exactly like the cartoon looked when I was growing up. Like, to a T. Ninja Turtles when I was a kid, the cartoon was based off the toy series, and then the toy series didn't quite look like the cartoon, whereas these are perfect. I can't think of anything about this figure that I would change to make it more like the cartoon. Everything, the, the angle of the shell, the color green they've used, the looks on the faces, the bright uh, silver circle with each turtle's initial in them, the way that their knee pads and elbow pads are shaped, the wristbands, the detailing on the toes. Man, man, S.H. Figuarts did an amazing job with this figure. Like, it's probably already jumped to the top of being one of my favorite action figures of all time. All right, and now that we've finished admiring it, let's rip its head off. Duh. And there he is with the new head on, and like I'd surmised before, the back of this bandana whoop, just comes right off, and it'll fit directly in a little hole in the back of this bandana, like so. Ta-da! And so if you want to have Raph, you know, looking like that, I probably won't display him with this face. I mean, it's an excellent head sculpt, but it's probably not the head sculpt that I will display with Raph. Let's switch the heads back now, shall we? There, that's better. Also, we can replace the fists because with his fists closed like that, we can't fit the size in. So let's replace his fists too, shall we? Now each fist is actually on a ball joint and it just pops off just like that. And then you can put the desired fist back on the ball joint like so, just like that, just snaps into place. Let's do the other one too. Just pop it off uh, and find the next Sigh hand, because that's what I wanted to be holding right now, is a sigh. Oh, look at that. The wristbands can come right off. That's kind of neat. And get on there. Oh, this one's a bit tight. I don't want to push too hard. It doesn't feel brittle. I just don't want to be that guy that, that breaks his Raphael putting the wrist back on. All right, so let's stick the size in his hands. Like that. And then pop it in there. Like so. Whoa, <laughs> I didn't have it on enough. There, now it clicked into place. Wait till you hear that click, otherwise it's not in place. It's gonna fall off, and then you're gonna have a handless raft <laughs> standing in your display, and your friends are gonna come over and go, oh, look at that, that's cool, look at all those Ninja Turtles you got. Oh, what's that, Raphael's missing a hand. So as mentioned before, this piece here that he comes with, which is to hold his size at his back, what you do is you just pop off the piece of the belt at his back, and just pop it on there like that. There's three little peg holes and it just fits in there nicely. And then the size themselves just fall right into place. And that's actually accurate to how he carried his size in the cartoon. He actually did not carry his size in the front as the original Turtles figures had it, but he carried them in the back just like this. 
Now, if articulation is your thing, which it is for a lot of us collectors, you want to have a well-articulated figure. You don't just want to have a statue that has like five points of articulation. These are going to be right up your alley. Not only is the head on a ball joint, but the neck itself moves. You've got, look at the shoulder articulation there. In and out. It's almost reminiscent of the old Marvel Legends articulation. And then he also swivels at the bicep. The shoulders themselves are on a ball joint. You have a double articulated elbow on each arm. You have a ball jointed wrist. You have, you have his legs that twist. And you also have double jointed knees. And I believe that the legs themselves are on a ball joint. You've got uh, the articulation at the ankle where it can rotate all ways. You've got foot articulation. And just, I mean, just look at this. Look at the articulation. Look at the crazy amount of articulation these figures have, what you can do with these. And so you would expect from a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles figure. And really, if you are just posing these on a shelf, which I would expect almost every collector is going to be doing, these are going to be right up your alleyway because you can pose them to the nines. The sky is really the limit with these figures. I think you're really going to like it a whole ton. Honestly, for this figure, not gonna lie, straight solid 10 out of 10 because there is absolutely nothing about this action figure that I would change. It is perfect as far as I'm concerned in every single detail. The paint apps, the textures, the weight, the sculpting, the posability. This action figure, in my opinion, is a perfect rendition of a 1980s cartoon show, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and I am 100% happy with it, and I fully recommend that you go out and get one of these yourself, either from Amazon or eBay, or from Big Bad Toy Store, or Toys on Fire, or wherever you happen to shop from, because these are worth every single penny if you're a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fan. That's for shizzle. Anyhow, Turtles fans, that's all I have time for to make this video today. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I truly hope you've enjoyed it because I've had a lot of fun making this video and opening this figure. I've waited to open this figure for about a week and a half or two weeks. I wasn't able to open it until I made this video for you. So again, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. It means a lot to me. If you like this video, please slap a like on it so I know that you liked it. If you have anything to say, anything at all, please leave it in the comments down below because I love to hear from you. And you think you might want to see more of this content well just hit the subscribe button and you'll get more of what we put out in your inbox and i'll see you next time next turtle tuesday